study was conducted because past experiments of long-term marijuana use effects on the brain are inconsistent and inconclusive. This study was aimed at characterizing brain alterations associated with chronic marijuana use through three specific measures. Gray matter volume through a structural MRI. Gray matter is the gray outer area of the brain. This area gets its color due to being densely packed with the cell bodies, dendrites, and terminal buttons of a neuron. The second measure was to determine potential downstream effects on connectivity through a diffusion tensor imaging scan via white matter tracks. White matter is mostly located in the inner area of the brain. This area contains the axons of the neurons. The myelination, which is mainly fat, gives it its white appearance. The third measure was through MPS, which is the Marijuana Problem Survey. This is a 19-item measure assessing negative, psychological, social, occupational, and legal consequences of marijuana use in the last 90 days, rated either zero, no problem, to two, serious problems. The fourth measure used was a functional MRI. Philby et al. hypothesized that the cannabis group would show alterations in gray matter volume, functional connectivity, and structural connectivity. The causal independent variable is marijuana use at least four times per week over the last six months confirmed through your analysis. The mediator variable is amount of brain structure abnormalities or alterations thought to be caused by marijuana use and the association connectivity level. The dependent variable is the participant's IQ. The control group was no self-reported marijuana use confirmed through your analysis. The research design that was used is a two-sample t-test. There was a total of 110 participants, 62 in the control group, 48 marijuana users, 27 of whom were exclusively marijuana users. Each participant in the marijuana users group responded to the MPS, and every participant in each group went through an MRI. High-resolution T1 weighted image measured gray matter volume. A resting state fMRI scan was collected to assess functional activity. The diffusion tensor imaging scan was collected to provide an assessment of structural connectivity between regions via white matter tracks. The results indicated there was no significant difference in age or sex between the marijuana and control groups. However, the IQ of marijuana users was significantly lower than the control group. The T1 images showed significant lower gray matter volume in marijuana users in the right middle orbital frontal and left superior orbital frontal gyri. The cannabis group had higher functional activity compared with the control group in all four nodes. The forceps minors, fiber density, axonal diameter, and myelination of white matter were all greater in the cannabis group. The FA showed gains with initial heavy use but declined after chronic use. Earlier age of onset leads to higher functional connectivity of the bilateral OFC. The greater the functional connectivity of the left temporal cortex to the bilateral OFC, the lower the total score on the MPS. These results conclude that they did not find that marijuana use was significantly correlated with the mediator variables and outcome to the IQ test. Limitations include environmental factors such as age of onset and or genetics. The cross-sectional nature of the study could not directly address whether the brain structure reductions are the cause or effect of marijuana use. A longitudinal study must be done to further understand the cause and effect of long-term marijuana use.